In this part, we'll have a look on how to play cells and multi-cells in a PDF document. So I prepared the document, added a page, got a font and a size. Uh, before we start, the default margin for the document is one centimeter or 10 millimeters. So the margin on the side here and on the upper margin. So let's start by placing our first cell. And uh, we'll type in width is 20, I will be five. Our text, let's say world. And we'll also add a border because this makes it a little bit easier to understand what we're dealing with. So as you can see, it is placed in the upper left corner and we want to place another one right next to it. So we'll just copy this down. And change this to the person. And we see that it is placed next to it. Let's make this a little wider. Oh, let's use 30. So the border is around the text. If we want to place the second cell below the first one, this is pretty easy. You can just type in line one and then it places it below it. So let's say we want to place a third one below the second one when it's next to each other. So I'll just remove this real quick. And now we want to place another one right here below the hello person. So I will just add a third one real quick. And this is probably still in there. Let's take 30 as well. Hello, whatever, animal. And as you might think, you could just say, uh, again, line one. And that should place it below the second one. But as you can see, it places it at the beginning because line equals one sets the cursor in the next line on the left side. So there's two ways of doing this. The first one would be just adding a dummy cell. So we will again take another one and dummy cell. Let's see how this looks. And as you can see, it is below the second one. Uh, if we want to have this as a blank, we, could, we can just leave out border. We can leave out the text. And now we can see that it's a dummy version. Uh, same works if you want to have it a little bit lower. So we can just type in, let's do this again. Let's say next line. And now we have to add another dummy cell to place it under it again. Dummy cell. And there we go. And if we want to have this empty, again, remove the border, remove the text. And this is it. Another way of doing it would be to change the position of the cursor, which is done with set x, y. So we'll just delete all of this, see where we are. Okay. Let's take that one out too. Okay. So again, we want to have the hello animal below the hello person. So we'll use PDF set x, y, and we'll just tell it where the cursor has to be. So we'll have to do a little math here. We want to place it below the hello person. So the x would be x is equal to, so x is this way. So we'll just put the margin, which is 10 
plus the first box hello world is 30 uh 20 and this makes 30. It's nice and y would be the from the topper corner or the top margin so 10 plus 5 is 15 and then we'll just type this in x will be 30 y 15 let it run and it's right below it if you want to add a little space in between again just use the y coordinate let's do this 20 And that's how you place a single cell. The same works with a multi cell with a slight difference. So we'll just go somewhere in our document real quick. Let's say mm -hmm, mm -hmm, x is 10 and y is 100. And we'll place multi cell here. I will just copy and paste this real quick over here so if you use a multi-cell you could just use backslash n to get into a new line let's have a look what it looks like and now we want to place a line just below it so again i'll copy paste and now it's just below it if you want to place it next to the other cell this has to be done with the set x y2 because it has no line option in multi-cell so we'll just use pdf set x y we do a little thinking so this is at um y 100 so we'll use the same one here and x is 10 for the margin and then 30 for the width so this is 40. let's have a look and it's placed right next to each other and that's how you place cells in your pdf i hope this helped see you next time